What is the payback period? The term payback period refers to the amount of time it takes to recover the cost of an investment. Simply it is the length of time an investment reaches a break-even point. People and corporations mainly invest their money to get paid back, which is why the payback period is so important. In essence, the shorter payback an investment has, the more attractive it becomes. Determining the payback period is useful for anyone and can be done by dividing the initial investment by the average cash flows. You can figure out the payback period by using the following formula. Payback period equals cost of investment divided by average annual cash flow. The shorter the payback, the more desirable the investment. Conversely, the longer the payback, the less desirable it becomes. For example, if solar panels cost $5,000 to install and the savings are $1,000 each year, it would take 5 years to reach the payback period. In most cases, this is a pretty good payback period as experts say it can take as much as 8 years for residential homeowners in the United States to break even on their investment. Payback period of uneven cash flow can be calculated by taking the cumulative balance of each cash flow. We need to subtract that from the investment and write down the figures. When we will get a positive number we will call that year to be a payback year. Now, calculate the fractional period by taking the last negative cash flow and dividing that by the cash flow in the next year. Let's take an example. A company invested $80,000 in Project A, and it is expected that the project will generate $10,000 in the first year, $25,000 in the second year, $15,000 in the third and fourth year, and $20,000 in the fifth year. What would be the payback period? To calculate it, first make a table where the company invested $80,000 in year 0. After that, we will put other cash flows under it. Then we will subtract each cash flow from the investment and write the remaining balance. So we have $70,000, $45,000, $30,000 and $150,000 and in the fifth year, we will recover all the amount that we invested. So we can say that the formula of calculation will be 4 plus, last year's negative balance divided by cash flow in the next year. That will be 4 plus $15,000 divided by $20,000, which is 0 0.75. So the payback period will be 4.75, or 4 years and 7 months. As the equation above shows, the payback period calculation is a simple one. It does not account for the time value of money, the effects of inflation, or the complexity of investments that may have unequal cash flow over time.